All right, welcome back. Right where we left off. Uh, we're gonna hit the ground running. Uh, we just rescued the king, and we're we're resting after putting in some long hours. Uh, let's get into this story. Hold on. Oh, and we rescued Impa too. Here she is, Master Try. I find it interesting that I can see you now, where I was not able to before. Ah, and I know that the princess has been safe because she's had you as her guide. So, now that I can see you, I can say this to your face. Thank you for everything. I've been wondering for a while, what does thank you mean? Everyone keeps saying it to Zelda. Oh, well, it's an expression of gratitude. I've been both happy and relieved that you have aided the princess. So to express that feeling of gratitude, I say thank you. Hmm, I'm only helping Zelda so that I can get rid of the rifts, but I'm glad you're happy. Already waking up then, princess? Now we got some more work to do. You appear well. I'm glad to see it. Try told us everything about how you faced extreme evil, putting yourself in peril, all to save us, to save your kingdom. You pushed yourself, princess, but you are safe now. I think about how small you once were, and I look at you now. Oh, how you've grown. Ah, there I go, getting myself all worked up again. I'm so very overjoyed to see you again, princess. Well, my apologies for disturbing you so soon after waking, but I bring a message from the king. He requests that you come to the throne room once you are fully rested. I will go on ahead. We'll be waiting for you. So I, you have to give all these guys the awkward eye because they were fucking with you before. Did I say you could eyeball me? Maggot? What are you looking at, ass eyes? He just becomes like a fucking complete abuser of all the help. These guys are just doing their jobs, right? I want the names of your families. All right? If there's any more fuck ups, any more, they will be the ones who pay for your insolence. All right. Let me get back to work. Let me get back to the mission. I'm dicking around a lot. Ah, Zelda, I trust you got some rest. Now then, we are all here. It is time for us to discuss next steps. Try informed us earlier about what is occurring in Hyrule. Through your hard work and determination, the large rifts have been tended to. Still, peace has not been restored to Hyrule. There is work yet to be done. Right, the Ganon we fought beneath the castle was an echo. He was created, so it's possible that the monsters that captured my friends were also echoes like Ganon. Initially, I deduced that everything had been at the hands of that monster, Ganon. That following Link's defeat of Ganon, we were seeing the after effects of their battle. But try, you believe we may be facing a different enemy all along? And Link saved Zelda from this mysterious foe. But then Link was captured. Oh, Link, I hope you are safe. Your Majesty. Large rifts are opening up all across Hyrule again. Three of them at once this time. No. Where are these rifts appearing? They have appeared in Elden Volcano, Barren Wetlands, and Holy Mount Laneru, sire. Elden, Farren, and Laneru. I wonder. Considering those locations, then it could be... What is it, sire? Those regions connect directly with the prime energy. With the what now? The prime energy, a source of power beyond our understanding left behind by the goddesses. 
The knowledge of its existence has been passed down through the royal family since long ago. Those three regions connect to the three goddesses and, in turn, to the prime energy. It's as though the rifts are targeting those areas very specifically. This might mean the rifts aren't natural occurrences, but are being created by someone. That's impossible. But then, if that's true, the prime energy could end up with the enemy. There are yet more legends passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. When evil strives for the prime energy, a wise priestess and a courageous hero will appear. Together, the priestess and the hero will rend this evil asunder. A priestess and a hero? Zelda has gotten rid of many rifts. Could Zelda be the priestess of legend? She, she must be. But then, who is the hero? Perhaps it is the swordsman, Link. Eh? Come to think of it, Zelda mentioned that Link's able to move even while in the still world. He's also been fighting the enemy all on his own. If Link is the hero, then that means both the priestess and the hero have indeed appeared. True, but Link's been captured by the enemy. Zelda, mend the three rifts in the regions connected to the goddesses. This will thwart our enemy. In order to stop the enemy completely, however, you must do even more than that. You have to find the hero Link, and the two of you must join forces, fighting together. My daughter, I have only and ever wished for a peaceful life for you. But it seems that fate has other plans. You are the priestess of legend, the hope of Hyrule. We will do everything in our power to support you on this most dire journey. Nope. Minister Left, you are to continue working with Luberry, monitoring the rifts. General Wright, lead your soldiers to contend with the monsters across Hyrule. Yes, your majesty. Impa. It is time. Provide Zelda with the garments. Oh, we get some new duds? I will do so with haste, sire. How do you feel about nipple tassels? Oh, princess, these clothes suit you well. Do I get not? I get my new badass warrior princess outfit. I'm ready to fuck some shit up. These are your ancestral vestments passed down through the royal family. They will be perfect for your needs as you continue on your quest. I imagine the enemy's ultimate aim is to obtain the prime energy. We do not yet know the enemy's true nature, but I fear that Hyrule is in grave danger. As a leader of Hyrule and the priestess of legend, please do what you must to protect our kingdom. Okay, can I be on my way? What's up? What's up, Impa? You got something to talk about? My dear princess, are you feeling weary from all the traveling you've been doing? The land of Hyrule is vast after all. Traveling on foot must take quite a bit of time. To that end, I have news. The past few years, your loyal Impa has been raising you a steed. Of course, when I first began nurturing the foal, I had no idea you'd set off on such adventures. Well, now you have a loyal steed. I'm sure she'll be a wonderful partner on your travels. Your mare is being cared for at Hyrule Ranch, just on the west side of Hyrule Field. So please, ask after her when you've got a spare moment. I'll let the ranchers know to expect you. I have a feeling that it's Marzipan, my horse from uh, Breath of the Wild, and I love that horse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. All right, what's up? It should have come back by now. I wonder if something's happened. Hmm. Would you happen to be Princess Zelda? 
Welcome to Hyrule Ranch, your highness. Lady Impa told us to expect you. I'm afraid we don't have your horse here at the moment. My brother took her out for some exercise, but not to worry. They should be back soon. Alpha. Something happened. The monsters kidnapped her or something or stole the horse. Goodness, what are you shouting so loudly for? You'll fray the princess's nerves. Disaster! We were at the carrot patch, northwest of Hyrule Castle, and a rift opened up. The horse threw me off her back to protect me, but she got caught in the rift. Oh no! I'm so incredibly sorry, Princess Zelda. I'll go and see what I can do. God damn it. Why did I think I could show up and pick up my horse and that was going to be the end of it? All right, let's see. Um, got this rough, right? Uh, the horse is there in that rift. What do we do? Oh, your highness. I'm so deeply sorry. All right, I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. I kind of want to go back to wearing like the little hoodie. I like that look better. I can sense my friends here. They're trapped. They're trapped in four areas to be exact. If we rescue them all, we can fix this rift. All right. Um, all right. Got it right. Is that it? All right. I think we're doing. All right. We gotta figure it out. Oh, you know what? Let me see. Nope, that wasn't what I wanted. There we go. All right. Um, so how's everybody's spooky season? Going pretty good? Mine's going pretty great. I'm having a good time with all my friends. Um... You may or may not have seen our episode with Promise. I've been hanging out with Promise a little bit. And I love her to pieces. She's like a little sister. Um, I, I don't know. I don't think I've said it to her. Uh, I probably should next time I see her. But like, I've known her for like several years now. And uh, I actually am very proud of watching her growth and seeing her become... Um, the person she's going to be, you know, she's still very young. Uh, hold on. And I've kind of watched her like learn some lessons and things like that and handle adversity like a champ. And, uh, I just think she's awesome. That's why I love her so much. Um, let me see. Hold on. Mm. But yeah, we, uh, I think I talked about it in, in a, uh, recent episode here and there, uh, we went and saw Beetlejuice, the, the new Beetlejuice, 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 
And, uh, it, while I had a good time about it, like, I think her and Rob both gave their thoughts about it, um, in the episode where we were, uh, playing Hawaii Death Desu, right? And, uh, I think I very lightly touched on my thoughts about it, but I didn't get to go as in depth as either of them, but I rewatched it today and, uh, I enjoy it. I like it. I do not think it's as good as the first one, but that's not like uh damning, you know, um, the first one's pretty great. You know, this one's a lot of fun too. Uh, it just, it has a lot more moving parts. The first one is like a lot more simple, you know, you have this couple who, uh, tragically passes away and they get stuck in the house that they, they owned, you know, and oh, hold on. They end up having to share it with some people that are not super cool and they're desperate to get out. And, uh, in their desperation, they make a deal with the devil, you know? And that's pretty much the story. They run afoul of Beetlejuice. Um, hold on. Was I supposed? I was supposed to use this meat. Let me see. I think there's goodies in here. Uh, but this most recent one, it's good, but I think that, um. The stuff with Beetlejuice's wife was unnecessary. And I also think that, uh, there's a few other, hold on, can I take this off? Screw it, I don't think I'm getting anything from it. Um, the stuff with his wife was unnecessary, even though I love, uh, Monica Bellucci and her intro scene was amazing. Uh, I just, I don't think that added anything, you know, she, she did her intro. She popped up here and there. Like I almost forgot she was in the movie at times. She would pop up and kill somebody and then fuck off for like another large chunk of the movie. Um, and then she showed up at the end and was dealt with. And I really feel like, uh, it was probably, it was something I mentioned before, I think during the podcast with Rob, uh, I think that a lot of people, their experience with Beetlejuice wasn't necessarily with the, uh, original movie. It might've been with the, the OG cartoon, you know? Um, so, and in the cartoon, he wasn't so much the antagonist. He was kind of like Lydia's friend and he would kind of, hold on. he would kind of screw up and get in, get them in some trouble or something like that. And then he would have to use his abilities and things like that to weasel his way out of it, you know, or he would get Lydia in some hijinks and, you know, they'd have to figure their way out of it. Um, and for that reason, I think they didn't want to have Beetlejuice be a straight up villain in this one, you know, because I don't think he is like, um, he actually, he actually helps Lydia, you know, he helps Lydia save Astrid and he fucking, he punishes the kid who tries to damn Hold on, hold on. Who tries to damn uh, Lydia's son, daughter? Uh, let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the last one? Uh, but yeah, he's not like a straight up uh, antagonist this time. Like, yeah, he's trying to force Lydia into a into a marriage, but still, 
Um, he saved the day. Crawled. Go get him. What are these? Oh shit. Oh, you can't move these. Okay. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> That'll do. All right, there we go. We found all of my friends in this area. Now we can mend this rift. What's up, guys? They give her a little extra power. My friends have shared some of their power with me. Mm hmm To my crystals, we gotta go check out, uh, Blueberry. Zelda, let's go back to your world now. Where's my pony? The rift, it's gone. But Falfa, I don't see Princess Zelda's horse anywhere. Poor thing, must be frightened and hiding somewhere. Hey, come on back now, horsey. Hmm? She's not coming, is she? Oh, hey, what about the carrots? She absolutely loves carrots. Maybe the smell of a fresh carrot will get her to come back. All right. Uh, come on. Marzipan! It's Marzipan, everybody. All right. Seems like she's in good shape. I don't see any injuries. And she's clearly happy to meet her new companion. You've been quite gracious to help us, princess. Now she's yours to take with you. Ungrateful Lady Impa brought this mare into our lives. Oh, I should say, have you heard of flag races? They're races hosted by Hyrule Ranch. You have to bring your own horse to participate. Please feel free to drop by Hyrule Ranch if you're interested. See you, princess. Let's see what's up with these flag races everybody's telling me about okay princess zelda you decided to stop by you can take part in flag races here at hyrule ranch we train our horses with these flag races it makes them stronger and faster would you like to give our flag races a try princess zelda yes please what do i do how much does it cost this is your first flag race so let's start you off with the short course Short course is one lap around the ranch's track. The goal time is 23 seconds. I'll give you a lovely prize if you beat that. I'll need 10 rupees to get the short course ready for you. Thank you. I'll have the course set up for you in just a moment. Um... Okay. Wait, can we jump over the over the boxes? The short course gather up six flags in order to reach the goal. Okay. Okay, we did it. Not too shabby. I'd like you to have this reward for clearing the goal time 
on the short course for the first time. $20. Okay. Alright. All right. Whoops. I'd like you to have this to remember the first time you cleared gold time in the middle course. Okay. The twenty dollars. Oh, it's a music box. What does it do? Seven color cylinder and plays beautiful bright tones. Tell me about your water wings, asshole. <laughs> Yes. Yes, suffer. I want you guys all to suffer. Uh, damn it. Nope. Fine. Yep, keep it up, asshole. God damn it. Come on. All right. There you go. <sighs> Monster stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um... What's this? Great entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. I guess we're just fixing a random route. Blah. I guess we're just fixing a, a random rift. You can sense my friends here. They're trapped. They're trapped in three areas to be exact. If we rescue them all, we can fix this rift. Okay. Uh, can I go in this little church? Oh, it's way bigger on the inside. It's like Snoopy's doghouse. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. All right. Uno. If he had to deal with these guys. All right. Guinea. see I see now I think all right come on there we go all right that should be it right yep tres I know I started talking about uh, spooky movies and Halloween a little bit. Uh, I want to make a couple quick recommendations. Um, there's a movie I watched recently. I come back to it like every year for the past few years. It's called Ready or Not. Uh, there's a great actress. She kind of looks like Margot Robbie, but her name's Samara Weaving. And I think she's awesome. And she's awesome in the movie. And I highly recommend it. It's not scary. It's more like a suspense thriller kind of, you know, but it's kind of humorous as well. Um, Adam Brody's in it and he's great. Uh, it's really good. Um, I'd say like 
if you have like a date that wants something like a little spooky but not insanely gory like I would definitely recommend it and then there's also a movie on Netflix starring her as well called The Babysitter it's pretty great um and that one's more it's it's a little gory but it's still kind of for funsies in a way I guess I don't know how to describe it alright let me see can I can I push this what if I well let me see this broad clearly has something to say it was in your dead as well this is a very old and storied graveyard there are legends about ghost sightings here hidden staircases things like that I used to love hearing my grandpa tell me stories about this place now he's buried here too please don't do anything to disturb his rest all right I guess let me just light these fucking torches I'm sure nothing's gonna happen Oh, who could have foreseen? What's down here? All right. Get him, P-Hat. All right. Hmm. Where this bear come from? Whoops. All right, what's up with this bear? Echo. Okay. Hmm. Uh, does stuff toy do anything? No. Okay. No. No. All right, fuck it. Let's get out of here. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Greetings, Princess Zelda. By the king's orders, I'm looking into the rift on Holy Mount Lanayru. Minister Left told me of an old legend that you can reach it by crossing the clouds. So I tried scaling Hebrew Mountain to cross over, but the cliffs were just too steep. There is a mountain passage ahead, but it's rough going. Clearly hasn't been maintained. Alright. How about you? The winds that blow down here from Hebrew Mountain are always so cold. Hmm. You came all the way out here. Do you intend to climb Hebrew Mountain? Yes. You don't say. How unusual. Hebrew Mountain covers an area that's very cold. You'll get hurt if you can't ward off the chill. But if you do want to go up there, use the caves that climb to the summit. The entrance is nearby. Unfortunately, it was blocked by a cave-in recently. Alright, let's see what we're working with. Uh, this. Is it? Uh, maybe... Oh. Did that do it? All right. All right, we're gonna pick this up next time, guys. Um, I think this is the way to Hebrew Mountain. I appreciate you hanging out, as usual. Uh, you complete me, All right? I'll see you next time. Bye.